You know what time it is. State tree time. It's kind of hard. <laughs> Today we're making the great state of Illinois, which in 1908 adopted the native oak as its state tree, not specifying a particular species. But in 1973, the state decided to get specific and put it up to a vote among nearly a million school children who selected the white oak, scientific name Quercus alba, making it Illinois' official state tree. Slow growing and striking a grand profile, it typically reaches heights of about 100 feet when full grown, with a lifespan often surpassing well over 300 years. With a native range spanning almost the entire eastern United States, the white oak has long been one of the most revered trees on the continent. Indigenous people have many traditional uses for the tree. The acorns are edible and are typically far more palatable than those from the red oak. The natural astringents in the bark make it helpful for treating wounds and stemming bleeding. It's also used in traditional tanning practices and has many other uses, but where it really shines is its wood. In fact, the great Illinois native himself, Nick Offerman, has called the American white oak the most noble of woods, and it's hard to argue with him. It's strong and hard, yet flexible and beautiful. It has a closed cellular structure that makes it water and rot resistant. It's used to make all sorts of stuff. Fine furniture, ships, tools, barrels in which you age wine and allow the wood to impart strong flavors. And bourbon isn't considered bourbon unless it's aged in charred white oak barrels. This piece we have here is what's called quarter sawn white oak, and that's why we see those really cool streaks, which are called Rayflex. And it looks exceptionally classy up on the board. I especially love how it completes our nice little negative space Lake Michigan. Tell me what you think is the most noble of woods and let me know what state we should do next.